To add fractions with different denominators, first we need to find the least common denominator. So to find the least common denominator, I am going to use prime factorization. So I am going to write down each denominator 10, 24 and 15 and write each denominator as a product of prime factors. So 10 we can write as 2 times 5. 2 is prime and 5 is prime. Product means multiplication. 24 we can write as 4 times 6. 4 and 6 are not prime numbers, so we can keep going. We can write 4 as 2 times 2. And we can write 6 as 2 times 3. So 15 we can write as 3 times 5. So we wrote each denominator as a product of prime factors. Now to find the LCD, we are going to look at each prime factor and write it down with the most with its most occurrence in any number. So let's start with 2. 2 shows up in 10 once. 2 shows up in 24 three times and 2 shows up in 15 zero times. So it shows up three times in 24 and that's the most number of times 2 shows up in any number. So in LCD we will write down 2 three times. The next number is 5. 5 shows up in 10 one time. In 24 5 shows up 0 times. In 15 5 shows up one time. So the most number of times 5 shows up in any number is one time. So we can either circle 5 in 10 or 5 in 15. It doesn't matter. So the LCD we will, ha will have 5 showing up one time. The next number is 3, right here, don't forget it. So, 3 shows up in 10 zero times. 3 shows up in 24 one time. In 15, 3 also shows up one time. So the most number of times 3 shows up in any number is one time. We can either circle 3 in 24 or in 15. It doesn't matter because the most number of times 3 shows up is one time. So the LCD will have 3 one time. Now to, to get the LCD, we will just multiply these prime factors. 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 3 will give us 120. So the least common denominator is 120. Very good. Now we need to rewrite each fraction with a common denominator 120. So let's set up our fractions. So we are going to rewrite each fraction so it has the denominator 120. So let's switch colors so we can see. Very good. So let's start with the first fraction. 120 divided by 10. So 120 divided by 10 is 12. So it means in the first fraction I multiply numerator and denominator by 12 in order to get the common denominator 120. 7 times 12 is 84. So my new numerator is 84. 10 times 12 is 120. So I rewrote the first fraction with a common denominator 120. Now the second fraction. 120 divided by 24 is 5. So we are multiplying the numerator and denominator by 5. 5 times 5 is 25, so the new numerator is 25. 24 times 5 is 120, so we rewrote the second fraction with, a, with the denominator 120. So the third fraction, 120 divided by 15, is 8. So we are multiplying the numerator and denominator by 8. 2 times 8 is 16. And 15 times 8 is 120. So we rewrote each fraction so we have the same common denominator 120. Now to add fractions with the same denominator, you would add the numerators together. 84 plus 25 plus 16 and keep the denominator the same, 120. So let's add. 84 plus 25 plus 16 is 125 over 120. But do not stop! We can reduce this fraction by 5. So 125 divided by 5 
and 120 divided by 5. 125 divided by 5 is 25, and 120 divided by 5 is 24. So we stop here because this fraction cannot be simplified anymore. This is the answer as an improper fraction. You see numerator is greater than denominator, 25 24. We can also write the answer as a mixed number. How do we do that? 25 divided by 24. 24 goes into 25 one time. So the whole number up front will be 1. Let's find the, the remainder. 25 minus 24, the remainder is 1. So that's going to be our new numerator. So 1 over 24. So the answer as a mixed number is 1 and 1 over 24. That's it.